up you guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we will be demoing the juvia's place candy shop collection so in this collection it did come with this beautiful eyeshadow palette full of colors as you know if you know juvia's place eyeshadows are very pigmented it did come with five glosses but i do have four of the five here so we're just going to focus on the eyes and the lips in today's video. I usually don't come on here with my base already done because I like to do eyes first. But I did have something to do for a brand over on TikTok, which I am 100% truly, truly grateful. I, I, I ain't up there yet, you know. But I'm just grateful for any opportunity that I get to even work with any brand. So um without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up as all of those things help my channel and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this eye look all right y'all so eyes i've got too much going on eyes were primed with the juvia's place i prep i prime in the shade number two so i saw this look on instagram and i will have the image or the video of the artist once on the screen but she just pretty much went in with this beautiful orange shade this pinky shade and this blue shade to create like this matte but it's just those three in a row so that is pretty much what we're gonna do on the eyes today let's go ahead and get started and I do have my morphe little color swatch here so that I could continue using the same brush when I'm changing the shade. Okay, so I do want to give you guys a quick little rundown of this collection while I do the one eye on camera. So the eyeshadow palette does retail for $25. Again, this is called the Candy Shop Eyeshadow Palette. You can find this on JuviusPlace.com or also on Ulta's website. There does um, This collection also does come with five lip glosses. They are called the Silky Whipped Gloss which retails for $14 and again there are five different shades of the gloss so four of the five shades I will go ahead and do like a lip swatch at the end of this video so that you guys can see again this is a very simple eye look I feel like I genuinely loved that she she created something so simple the artist who um, I saw create this she created something so very simple but it it you know it gave it definitely gave okay first gloss shade is called pineapple pearl so as you can see this is just more of a clear gloss it does have like some gold reflex in the in the gloss i don't know if you guys could kind of see that or catch that on camera definitely a gloss that i would use as a topper shade for sure um, they are not sticky they are definitely soft and very comfortable on the lips the next shade is Choco Milo. Now, one thing that I do notice is that this shade and the shade Neapolitan actually look the same. So I am going to try to build this up just a little bit. But again, this is Choco Milo. Next shade we are going in with is Neapolitan. So as you can see, it definitely has some similarities to Choco Milo. I think it's Choco Milo, Milo girl, but it definitely kind of gives that same vibe, like a pinkish brown, if you will. Last but not least of the four shades that I picked up, this is the shade Bubblegum. So this is the deeper gloss throughout the collection. But again, as I mentioned, they are not sticky. There's a, uh, you know, very pigmented, really great formula. Doesn't have a nasty, bad smell or anything like that. But um, this is definitely a shade that I would very much so have to pair with a brown lip liner for sure. All right, you guys. So that is it for the Candy Shop collection. Let me know what you guys think. Um, again, a very simple eye look. I went in the waterline with this LA girl um, neon. Oh, this is the neon shockwave and pop. 
So this is technically a lip pencil, but I would never use something this bright pink as a lip pencil. Out of the whole collection, I think the eyeshadow is very pretty. It's fun. It's getting you ready for spring and summer. However, the glosses is what I would recommend. It's never going to be a video if I don't drop anything, right? Um, the glosses recommend. They smell great. They don't have different scents based on the shades. But they do smell good like a... I, it's not vanilla it's it's a it's a more fruitier scent but the glosses highly recommend again if you do not have colorful eyeshadow palettes you want to explore and you love the colors and the tones in here I would definitely say grab it but if I had to choose I would say get the glosses for sure again there is one gloss that I'm missing and it was like a strawberry type of gloss um, I didn't really see myself wearing it it was more of like it looked kind of reddish reddish pinkish if I can remember I'll have it on the screen but this is the final look you guys let me know what you think let me know if you're gonna pick this up um, or if you have picked it up and what are your thoughts I will continue to use the palette because I do love the colors the tones I feel like you can really amp these shades up or have that soft look kind of like what I have going on right now it's multicolored, but it to me is not doing too much so I'm okay with it again glosses get a double thumbs up from me but that is it for today's video you guys thank you so very much for tuning in I hope you all enjoyed and stay safe be blessed I'll see y'all in the next video take care bye